guys, Michelle here. Today I'm running a bit of an experiment. So I've been wanting to put tannins in Andromeda's tape for quite a while now. Um, as you guys might know from my Instagram page, um, she's a bit of a fin nip, but she's always had issues with fins, um, just looking absolutely ragged. She looks like a crown tail sometimes, like, I'm wondering whether she's got some crown tail genes in her and she's actually like, um, what will they call them? They call them a sun tail or a, I don't know, I'll put it up for you guys. Um, so I thought I'd try some tannins. From me is where I live. There's not really a lot of sources of oak trees and such. You go here more into the city and into the, um, the other areas for that. So I thought I'd give something else a shot. Um, and that's tea bags. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna stand by and like do some water changes if I need to. But apparently you can use regular tea. As long as you steep it beforehand, um, the caffeine shouldn't be an issue. And you just put it in. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll see. I'll let it cool down a little bit first. Otherwise in the future I'll probably be looking into getting some Indian almond leaves. Um, but I mean if this works, it's a good option. I don't know, we'll see. Doing an experiment here. I mean apparently it works fine for like, people have tried it on shrimp and it's been fine. And I feel like if it's fine for shrimp it's probably going to be fine for bears. Because shrimp just die randomly in my opinion. I don't, I don't keep them, but from what I've seen, I'm just going to keep them. And then I heard all these awful stories. And now I'm like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. Alrighty. <sighs> oh, so what I might do is I might put the tea bag in the filter. Um, because my filter, I'll show you guys, in this tank is sort of like, open. So I think that might work. I don't know, we're experimenting guys. Fish keeping is about experimenting, just within reason, so you know you're not probably gonna kill your fish. But I've done the research and apparently this works, so we're gonna give it a shot. I'm not seeing any effects just yet, but so the filter outtakes around here. So if we're gonna see anything, it's gonna happen there. I don't know if you can see properly with Andromeda there. She's looking pretty ragged at the moment. Since So I recently introduced some guppy fry to the tank to give her something to do. Um, and come over here, bud. Don't get angry at my finger, come on. So her anal fin's actually looking a bit better than what it was. It's still terrible, but it's looking a bit better. Her, how do you call it? Her caudal fin, the back one. That's looking pretty shocking at the moment. It's always looked shocking, but it's looking extra shocking at the moment. But I mean, she's acting fine. She just drives me insane with her fin. So, tea bag wise, I, I'm not really seeing a change. It's cooled down now, so what I might do is just do this. Yeah, I'm not seeing any change. Maybe I used up too much of it. I don't know. To me it doesn't look like there's a colour change. Maybe there is and I'm just so used to it being already naturally a bit tinted from the wood. I don't know. I think what I'll do is I'll add a little bit more and more throughout the day as I make cups of teas. <laughs> And we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Because ideally, I would like to have this be a, t a tannin filled tank. I think it'll be good for the inhabitants. I think it'll work with the aesthetic as well. Especially with Andromeda with the like white colorage, I think she'd look awesome in a tannin tank. Let's see how this goes. All experimenting here. So hopefully it'll go well. We'll come back to this later. Alrighty, second cup of tea has been steeped for about a minute, which is what they recommend to get rid of the caffeine. Let's do trial number two. No, 
All right, that's leaking a lot more. So obviously I left the first one in for too long. All right, let's close this. Have a look at this one. So that's mainly the algae coming off from the filter. This tank, I don't mind that it has a lot of algae. I think it works a bit better. Potentially might do one more. Or two, we'll see. Alrighty, so I just did some quick testing of my water and it looks like my pH was a bit high, which is surprising because I'm putting tannins in it and it should be going down. Um, and it was at about 7.5, which is pretty unusual for this tank because most of my tanks run at about seven um, pH. So I did a, a full test and it turned out my general hardness was a bit low. So I've upped that, um, and now, stop chasing the tapping fry. So now I'm up to the third tea bag, and hopefully with the hardness going up, um, we should see some improvement, and the pH should start lowering. So I'm wondering whether that could be the cause of Andronomer's ragged fins. Um, maybe it was the hardness or something all along and I just didn't realise. Um, but I'm hoping with the tannins, we should get the pH back down to a normal level. Um, although they can, although 7.5 is okay, it's not great. They prefer about a 7, so hopefully the tannins will bring it down. Uh, hopefully the hardness will be fine now. We'll see how this goes. Everyone's looking pretty active. Which is surprising because the pygmy quarries usually do a lot of resting, so I'm wondering whether it just wasn't quite right for them. But everyone's seeming pretty happy, so we'll keep an eye on them, but that's where we're at at the moment. I don't know, I think this is working. I think this is working quite well. Um, but it was interesting about my parameters, I didn't realise this tank was so out of whack. Um, because it wasn't actually showing any signs of it, so... <laughs> but, it's good to know, I'm glad I tested it, um, and makes me want to test my other tanks now, just to make sure. Um, but I mean, even in an established tank like this, which just has been running for about... Oh god. Close to a year now. Um, you can still have your parameters go out of whack. Like hardness is going to be an issue for this tank, so I might start checking it with water changes and putting some more salts in it. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll help her fins, and I'll update you guys on how this goes. Everyone's looking really happy, jeez. Should have done this earlier. But the tea bags do seem to be working, so that's good to know. I feel like it's going to be a much more economical way of doing it, but I will look into the Indian Army leaves as well. Um, I know there's a seller that actually sells like Indian Army trees, so that could be an option. Buy a tree and then get free leaves, I don't know. It'll work for me out. But for now this seems to be a good option. Uh, the other thing that will be interesting to see is how the plants fare with the lower light. But the main plants are here are moss and Java Fern and Anubis, so... And uh, plus some peak lilies that are semi-emerged. We'll see how this goes. Everyone seems to be pretty happy. Hello. How are you doing? Alright, that's it for me. And I'll update you guys in the future.
Well guys, I hope you found this experiment interesting. Um, I'll let you know in the description down below and perhaps in a future video how this turns out long term. Uh, and I hope it also reminds you to check your water parameters even if you have an established tank because I did not know that my pH was that high and my hardness was that low. So, make sure you do that. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you enjoy what I'm doing here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!